Now we're going to be looking at some significant figures and how to round when it's asking us to round to significant figures. Now have a look, it says round off to one significant figure. Now remember guys, significant figures is different to decimal places. Because decimal places we start from the decimal point onwards, right? To the right. But significant figures we start from the very first number. Okay, so we do include numbers that are before the decimal point. But make sure guys, with significant figures we only start from the first non-zero number. So if the first number is zero or if the second, if first all the numbers that are zero at the very beginning, we exclude those. So say for example if I have 0 0.00259 and I ask you to round it to say one significant figure, then you start from two because the first numbers are all zero. So you start from the first number that's not zero. But if it happens to be 0 0.200053, something like that, um, and it says one significant figure, you start from two as well here. So these zeros in between, you do include. Only the first zero you don't include. So just remember that guys, that's the little um, trick for significant figures. So let's try the questions. So I'll show you a few examples before we start. Say for example, if we have 18.3, to one significant figure, we start from one. We start from the very first number, so it's just going to be 1. So basically, because this one is 18, it's going up by tens, 18, um, so like 0, 10, 20, 30. So one significant figure, because we're only looking at this number, that's why we're going up by tens, basically. So 18.3 is between 10 and 20, and it's closer to 20, isn't it? So we can say it's just 20. And when we round it to two significant figures, we're, if we're looking at the same number, we go one, two. So we're basically going up by ones because we're including that ones unit. So it's 17, 18, 19, 20. So the place value of that number that we're including is very important. So 18.3 is again between 18 and 19, but it's definitely closer to 18. So the answer would be 18 in this case. Get it guys? So, but if we, even if we don't actually have the number line, you should be able to say if it's one significant figures, you go one, and because the second number is greater than five, we just round it up. So two, and then the rest just becomes zero. So it's two, zero. So whatever method you like, but remember the number line always helps if you're confused. So let's try the questions. Question one, round 327 to one significant figure. If it's one significant, we're only basically concentrating on the first number, first one. That's the hundredth, isn't it? So we're basically going up by our hundreds. So, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 327 is between 300 and 400, and it's closer to 300, so we can say the answer is 300 to one significant figures, okay? And as well, 327, if I run it to one significant figure without the number line, it's just one, like that, isn't it? So the rest just becomes zero, so it's three, zero, zero, which is 300. Okay, but don't forget to round up if the next number is greater or equal to 5. Now B, round off this one to two significant figures. So if I go 1, 2, we're looking at this place value, isn't it? And that's the tens. So we're going up by tens. So 310, 320, 30, etc. And 327 is between 320 and 330. And you can see it's a bit closer to 330. So the answer is 330. Very simple, guys, isn't it? So just watch out for where it's closer to, and that's the answer. Question two, okay, round off 8.327 to two significant figures. So this time, if I round to one, two, because remember we include the first number, it's going to be this part here. So see that value that we're including, three, is the tenth. So we're going 8.1, so or 8.10, 8.20, 8.30, etc., etc., like that. And 8.327 is in between 8.3 and 8.4. And you can see 8.327 is closer to 8.3. So therefore it's 8.3. And as you can see, guys, even without the number line, you can see that when we go 1, 2, the third number that after, so the number that after that one is less than 5, so we don't round that, so it's just 8.3 as it is. So that's also another way you can look at it. Now B, round it off to three significant figures, so we go 
one, two, three. So the last number we're including is two. And that's, we're going to go up by hundreds. So 3, 30, 3 point, sorry, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33. So two decimals after the decimal point. And 8.327 is in between those two numbers. And you can see it's closer to 8.33. That's the answer. And again, you should be able to do this without the number line as well. Because when we go one, two, three, the next number is greater than five. So you just round two up to three. So it's 8.33 as we have here. Okay, let's try another one. Round off 0.07 repeater. So see this one? It's going to be a recurring decimal, 0.077777, because it's got the point on top of the seven. Now it says to two significant figures. So to two significant figures, we go one, two. So the first, last number we're including is that zero, and that's the tenth, isn't it? So we go 0 0.076, 0. Oh, sorry. Basically, we don't include the zeros. So see this repeater one? That one is zero point. So, zero seven 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 etc isn't it so when we say two significant figures see i fell in that trap we don't include the first zeros so we only start from the seven the first seven and we go one two so this is the last number that we're going to be including don't forget that so don't get trapped by me like me so see that one it's the third decimal place after the decimal point. So that's why I'm going 0 0.076, 0 0.077, 0 0.078, etc., etc. So 0 0.07777 is right in between these two numbers, isn't it? Because we know that it's definitely less than this one. And the number 7 is more closer to the right hand side, isn't it? So that's the number that we're going to be looking at. So 0 0.07. So these ones get a bit more confusing, but don't forget, all you need to remember is that we just don't include the first zeros. So we start from the first seven in this number. Now let's try another one. Round off this one to three significant figures. That means we have to include this number as our last number, right? So we have one, two, three, four decimals, decimal places after decimal point. So we're going to go 0 0.0776. 777, 778, etc, etc. So see how all of these have four decimals after the decimal point? And you can see that 0 0.0777 is in between these two numbers. And again, the number seven is greater than five. So it's closer to the right hand side number. So that is the answer. Makes sense, guys. And again, guys, 0 0.0777, etc. If I round it to three significant figures, let's put another one just in case. So three significant figures, we start from seven, one, two, three. And because the next number is greater than five, we just round this one up to eight. And that's how we get that one. So if we have the number line, if we don't, you should be able to get the answer pretty easily. Okay, so those were some rounding off significant figures.